Hello, today I'll talk to you about the array patch. It's a novel microneedle formulation for the intradermal delivery of medications. My name is Walid Faisal. I'm a project manager at the School of Pharmacy, University College Cork. Needle and syringe is an old technology for drug administration. However, this technology has many shortcomings, including needle phobia, needle stick injury, and cold chain transportation. And to tackle these shortcomings, the microneedle-based drug delivery system was invented. Microneedle is a pain-free, self-applicable sharp microstructure needles that penetrate the skin and dissolve to deliver a local dose of medication. There is some challenge which hammered its introduction to the market as an alternative drug delivery system. In addition to the small size of microneedles, which limited the drug loading, the, the polymer constitute more than 90% of the needle, which is crucial to give it the strength and sharpness for the microneedle to penetrate the skin. The biocompatibility of the polymer with the medication and the lack of long-term clinical studies for the intradermal use of such polymer is another challenge. <clears throat> and of course, the cost related to the infrastructure needed to this new technology. Aribatch is a new patent microneedle micro technology. Aribatch is a unique with a microneedle structure composed of 100% EBI in a non-crystalline state. In a process similar to the glass uh, production, where we heat up the sand to the melting point, and then we shape the melt as a glass bottle or a glass sheet. Similarly, we heat up the medication to the melting point, then we shape the melt in micro needle, and then we cool it down to get the strong, sharp micro needle structure. This technology was patent and published in 2020. As a team, we identify the antifungals market as an ideal and low stress growth to the market for the technology due to the significant side effects of current treatments. With the 35 million person infected every year, the market size is 4.7 billion in 2017. Our team successfully manufactured sharp microneedle from the antifungal itraconazole, which is capable to penetrate the skin and reside the medication intradermally as a localized effective way of drug delivery with little side effects. Physical and chemical characterization of the microneedles confirm the stability of the itraconazole after the melting process. The efficacy of the microneedle was also confirmed again in the main fungi and yeast that causing the disease. This approach uh, was validated by a visibility study and the industrial stakeholders confirmed the unmet market need of our microneedle technology. And the clinician were very interested in the idea of pain-free localized effect. The work to date identified about 18 drug candidates which is suitable for the technology. Six drug candidates uh, identified as a potential commercial case and three drug candidates were screened for the stability. We are successfully secured a commercialization fund to develop the commercial and technical platform and to validate the platform in the other potential therapeutic areas. Uh, this work was funded by Marie Curie Fund in 2018 and then with a case visibility study in 2019. And the work was patented in 2020. And also we secured a commercialization fund in 2020 to prove the concept. And now we are working in the in vivo and technical development. And we're also working in validate the best market sector to follow up. Our plan in future is to start up a company around this technology and then we'll seek manufacturing and clinical partner for our technology. In summary, we patent a platform technology to manufacture dissolvable drug microneedles. We identify the criteria for suitable drug which are stable and form a mechanically strong non-crystalline structure when melted. 
were identified the potential candidates including antifungals, anti-cancer, corticosteroids, and anti-inflammatory drugs. We successfully secured funds to progress to commercialization proof of concept of our technology. And thank you for listening. Thank you. Thanks.